Hey guys and welcome to this video on Salesforce. So today we're going to do some SOQL or Salesforce Object Query Language also known as SOQL. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do here is I'm already signed into Salesforce in Lightning. We're going to go to our setup icon up top here and click it and then click developer console to open up our force.com developer console. Okay, and then we're going to go down here, we're going to click on query editor. So make sure you click that tab down there and let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a simple query. So I'm going to do a simple select statement. So we're going to select our ID, our name, our billing city, and the phone number from our account standard object, which you know is, is in Salesforce. I'm just going to click execute. And what we see here is we get back 12 rows of data of just our ID, our name, our billing city, and our phone number, which is great. So that's just um, an example of a simple query. So now let's let's go ahead and uh, try to do a, a WHERE clause. So here, just type in WHERE. Maybe we only want that, uh, maybe we only want the row of data where the name is gene point. So I'm gonna say WHERE name equals uh, single quote, left single quote, gene point then right single quote and then we're going to go ahead and click execute and you'll see that we're going to only get back one row of data because this is the only row um, whose name is equal to gene point okay so let me go ahead and erase this here and I'm going to execute our original query and what you'll notice here is under name you'll see that there's one two um, three names that are similar to United. So you know, it says United Oil and Gas, United Oil and Gas, but one's UK, one's Singapore, uh, United Oil and Gas Corp. So maybe I want only the rows whose names are like United or maybe United Oil. So we just go back down here to our query editor and we click where name and we're gonna put like and then left single quote, I'm going to put United. And then I'm going to put what's called a wild card. It's a percent here. And then a right single quote. So the wild card here basically says, get me anything. Um, so I'm saying, get me the name where it starts with United. And then anything else can be behind it is what I'm saying with that um, wild card. So let's go ahead and execute this. And you'll see that we get back three rows of data. So we get back United Oil and Gas UK, United Oil and Gas Singapore, and United and Gas uh, Corp. So that's perfect. But suppose that we only want um, the names that are like United from New York. So how do we do that? I just type and um, billing city. equals left single quote and I'm going to type New York and then right single quote and I'm going to click execute down here and you'll see you only get back one row of data because this is the only row that fits those two requirements whose name is like United and whose billing city is New York all right so that's basically it for the where clause um, let's go back to our original data so I'm just going to cut that out and I'm going to click execute to get back our original 12 rows of data and suppose we want to order this data by the name so we could just use order by and we tell it to order by the name so I'm going to go ahead and execute this and you'll see that our name now is ordered and it's ordered in ascending order so suppose I wanted University of Arizona first and then I want it Burlington Textiles Corp of America last, how do I do that? Well, that's simple. We just um, type DESC for descending order, and let's execute that. And we can see that our data is now in descending order for the names column. All right, but maybe we want to explicitly tell it that we want it in ascending order, and we could do that by just changing this to ASC, which stands for ascending, and we can execute this. So now we get our data in ascending order. 
all right um so let's go well actually yeah i guess we, we will go ahead and um and go back here so we have our original uh, data set or a subset of data and maybe we only want the first five rows so how do we do that we could just say limit and then put five so let's execute this and so now we only get the first five rows of our data set okay now um maybe let's let's go back um to our original data set and let's combine our limit with our order by right so let's uh select id name billing city and phone from account and we're going to then order by name in descending order and we only want the first three so we're gonna limit three so i'm gonna click execute and you can see we only get the first three of name in descending order perfect all right um now let's talk about our group by clause so i'm just going to erase all of this here uh, actually we just we'll go with the whole another object how about that so let's select um our lead source and get the count of our name um from lead and you know actually what i'm going to do before we even do that let's just let's take a look at our data let's put name here and let's execute this so we're going to select the lead source and the name and i don't need that uh that comma there so we select the lead source and the name from lead and let's take a look at that data okay so let's order this data by the name okay and actually let's order this by lead source so now we're going to order this column here okay and what you can see here is in lead source we get one two three four five six seven web we get one two three four phone inquiry um one two three four partner referral and one two three four five six seven purchase list so i don't want to have to count it like that um so what we're going to do is we're going to use a group by and we're going to get the count of uh, uh we're going to get the count from lead and we're going to group it by the lead source so we're going to get this count for each lead source okay so how do we do that select lead source and the count on name so this right here has one web has one two three four five six seven names from lead and then we're gonna again group by our lead source so let's go ahead and execute this so now you can see um for web we get seven names for phone and query we get four names for partner referral we get four names and for a purchase list we get seven names so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video um thanks for watching and sticking all the way to the end that's great uh, please leave any questions you have, comments, concerns, uh, likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks as always for watching, guys. And I see you all in the next video.